Now, this, this program is for um, the young dentist. So how many young dentists do we have in here? Put your hands up if you're a young dentist. You're all young dentists. Come on, put your hands up. <laughs> I had my 70th birthday party on Wednesday. You're all young dentists. What do you mean? So get your hands up if you're a young dentist. <laughs> And those of you yesterday were with me, you learned that you're not staff members, staff's an infection. <laughs> and there's a difference between staff and team. If you don't ever take at least a month off at a time, then why'd you become a dentist? It's so simple. Put your hands up if you work by appointment. If you work by appointments, put your hands up. I'm, I, no, wait a minute. Either you folks start to participate with me or I'm going home. How many of you, put your hands up if you work by appointment? All right, everybody in the room, of course you do. So let me tell, write these notes down. How do you take August off? Don't make any appointments in August. <laughs> then somebody says, what about hygiene? Don't make any hygiene visits in August. It's really that simple. The dentistry will still be there when you get back. It's not like running a restaurant. If my wife and I go out to dinner and your restaurant is closed, I'm gonna choose another restaurant tonight and you miss some business. But if I call a dental office, I call to make, get an appointment, don't I? And everybody's so afraid. Well, my patients think. I have news for you. Your patients won't even know that you're gone. If you think that your patients wake up every morning of their life and say, I wonder where my dentist is today. <laughs> I can tell you your patients don't even think about you more than once or twice a year. I'll tell you something else about patients. And we've done this. You go to a dental office chart file or go to your computer, and I'll guarantee I've done this, I'll bet anybody in the room dinner for four, the nicest restaurant in Vancouver. We go to your chart cabinet or go on your computer, pull a hundred charts at random and start calling, hello, we're working for the British Columbia Dental College and we'd like to do a little survey on uh, dentistry. And we will ask these patients, one of the questions we'll ask, do you currently have a dentist? Do you know that 20 percent will say no? <laughs> I've done this a few hundred times. 20% of your patients in your file cabinet will say, no, I don't have a dentist. And out of the 80% that are left, almost 50% will not be able to answer the next question, and you won't believe this. What is the name of your dentist? And they won't even know, be able to answer that question. So they don't, and look at the look disbelief on them, Stina. They think they're, they're kidding. No, they don't even know. Sure, when they're in your office, they know your name, but if you met them on the street, how, put your hands, have you ever had this happen? You meet somebody in the grocery store and they look at you. You look familiar. <laughs> but I can't remember your name. Have you had that happen? Of course you have. And yet, you see, we're so afraid they will leave. So it's easy to do. So we're going to talk about lifestyle a lot here and that's why you want to get your own practice.